Time to move on to the calls before we get on out of here for the day. Let's go right to it. Let's go to Dante in Ocean City, New Jersey. You're live with Stephen A. What's up, Dante? Hey, Stephen A. Thanks for having me on. Good to be on. What's up? Um, nothing much. So here's my question for you. Um, I'm interested in this uh, woman, and the thing is, at my age, I don't think it's acceptable to slide in her DMs, but... Hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. How old are you? How old am I? How old are you, man? You heard 27. the question. No, I wasn't sure if you if you asked her or my age. No, your your age. How old are you? I'm I'm 27. You're 27, and you think you're a little bit too old to slide into a DMs? Yeah, I just think it's a little immature. But I, I don't know. Based on your answer just now, I guess it's not too old. No, I guess I'm not too old. No, it's it's Im immaturity depends on what you say once you go there. But if you right, say, exactly. uh, hello, how you doing? I'm such and such. I just wanted to reach out and say hello. What's wrong with that? Okay. Hey, no, that's so that was my uh, that's my next question for you. So I feel like that's my only avenue to really contact this girl because I, I don't think it's the right way. I'm going about it, going to where she works. She works at a restaurant. Okay, okay, okay. Let, 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 me like let, me, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, usually our end calls much, much quicker than this, but you really, really need my assistance. I could tell. So I'm going to yeah. yeah. help you out. First of all, Please. do you know her? So. That's a yes or no question, we, bro. We know we, we don't. Listen, we don't know each other personally, but we know we exist. We follow each other on social media, stuff like that. We have mutual friends. Her and I have never had a uh, a real conversation per se. Okay, so but if you reached out to her, she'd know who you are. Yes, sir. Okay, so why not you just DM her and say, "Look, I'm reaching out because I didn't have any other way to reach you, but I really would like to meet up with you and talk with you. Would you mind if we go out for a drink sometime?" Excellent. Okay, so that's that was my next question to you. Can I just go out and be blunt and just say it like that because? I've got How, my buddy saying, that's oh, not blunt. That, 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 my that. man, you ain't telling her, look, man, I want to jump your bones. I want, I, I want to get down. You ain't say that. You said, I'd love to get together with you for a drink just to talk to you. Is that okay? There's nothing that's offensive or, or off kilter about that. Sumatra, am I right about that? Right. I'm right about that. I don't think I'm right about that. There's no problem. <laughs> Okay, so that's all. You know, just don't be offensive. And like, you, you got a woman? Uh, actually, I just broke up with my woman. Okay, uh, so you just broke up with your woman because if, because if you had a woman but you was doing that, that would be different. You understand what I'm saying? That would be no, different. We, but if you don't have no, a woman. No, we broke up six months ago. Broke yeah, up six, six months, months ago. ago? Yes, sir. So you ain't had a woman in six months? Well, not that. I mean, that way, no, I, I, I'll lie. It's just, it's only been once in six months. But you Once know. in six months. So, oh, oh, yeah. oh. oh. I know. One woman I know. in six months or one moment in six months? No, no. It's only been the one time since I broke up with my ex. So, Listen to you know, what I'm asking, I'm, I'm, my brother. You're going to get a dial tone because you're annoying me now. I ask, I'm, I'm asking you direct <laughs> questions. Yes, sir. Is it one moment in six months or one woman in six months? No, one woman. Got it. You all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you all right. Yeah. Okay, you all right. All right, listen. DM her. Reach out, DM her, tell her this was the only way you knew to get in touch with her. You usually would not do this, but it's the only way to get in touch with her. And as a result, since you knew y'all have mutual friends, acquaintances, et cetera, et cetera, you thought it would be okay. Would you mind if we got together for a drink and to talk? That's all I you have to do. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Take Stephen it easy, a. my man. Thank you so much. Enrique in Arizona. You're live with Stephen A. What's up, Enrique? Hey, Stephen A. How you doing? I'm going to talk to me, bro. What's up? So I have two questions. One's going to be really quick. Um, uh, the World Cup is coming up 2026. Yep. I was just wondering, uh, are you planning on going to a game? Are you planning to Probably watch not. it? Probably not. No? Probably not. Okay. My next question would be, uh, I have a girlfriend in... Uh, she has this friend, and I have uh, sneaky uh, suspicions about her. Not, not like towards my girlfriend type of thing, but like um, I think she's a bad influence. How would I address that? Okay, so you have a girlfriend, but she has yeah. a friend who you believe is has bad intentions. Like I feel like I wouldn't call it 
I want to say she's jealous of our relationship. Like, like she when probably is. I mean, she she probably is because she had her time with her girl, and then you came along. And if you handling business, your girl would want to be with you more than she'd want to be with her. And as a result, it got in, it gets in the way of their closeness with one another, which they have prior to your arrival. So the jealousy slash envy is not completely off off kilter here. Yeah, I would. Um what do you think I should do? Should I address well, it to that friend? No. Should I address no, it to No. No. She has your her friend has no obligation to you whatsoever. Your woman, okay. your woman, that's her friend. What you do is you express your feelings to your woman. If your woman has no problem with the role her friend is playing in her life while she's involved with you, there's nothing you can do about that. And if you yeah, bring it to right. her attention and she decides that she does agree with you and it's problematic, it's still for her to handle, not for you to handle. One of the weakest ass things a man could do is to try to dictate and pick a woman's friends for her. Yeah. There is nothing yeah. more insecure than that. Now, you don't have to like her friends. You could tell her, I ain't messing with your friends. I'm not feeling them. I, I don't want anything to do I with them, her. but don't. I told her I, I, I was like uh, I like I was like I like all of your friends, but this particular one gives me that okay. a bad vibe. Okay, okay, that's all you could do. That's all you could do. Okay, you can't do anything else because here's what you don't want: you don't want any woman coming along in your life trying to dictate who your friends are. Yeah, don't do. It. And not only that, when you a dude and you try to control who a woman's friends are, you look weak. And one of yeah. the things well, you don't want to do as a man is look weak. 100%. All right, man. Go at it. Thank you. Take care. Take it easy, man. Happy Zach from St. Croix. What's up, my brother? How you doing? How's it going, Stephen A? What's going on? Talk to me, my man. So I got two questions here. First of all, one, first of all, you um, said you, you, you in St. Croix. You from St. Croix. I, I'm from St. Croix. Falls, okay, yeah. okay. Because you know yeah. I West Indian man, you know. I West Indian man, you know, yeah. I, me, 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 me family from St. Thomas. Really? Oh, St. Croix, Wisconsin. My bad. Yeah, I was thinking I'm West Indies. My uh, bad. Go ahead. You're good. You're good. Okay. So two questions here. Uh, one, what chance do you give the Minnesota Timberwolves to win the NBA championship? Zero. 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 Do you think they can get to uh, um, – Late, late season run. I think they can get. I think the Minnesota season? Timberwolves can get to the conference, Western Conference semifinals. I think Anthony Edwards is a superstar in the making. I think Carl Anthony Towns can ball, but his durability is a question mark. I don't believe that the coexistence of Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns works against anybody but really Denver. I don't believe it. I don't see it. And even against Denver, it was only good enough to win you one game in a seven-game series. Best of five. They took you out in five. So I'm not, I don't that believe that. Minnesota's on the come up. They got a star in Anthony Edwards you don't want to get rid of. He is something special. But outside of that, I don't think that you have enough horses, no. Um, and then the second question would be, do you think in the near future Anthony Edwards could win MVP? Yes. I believe how, in him that much. How long do you think? I believe that Anthony Edwards is one of the top three young lions on the come up. Yeah. I, I, I believe Anthony Edwards is a star. Let me tell you why I love Anthony Edwards so much. It's not just his game. It's his attitude. He's got the kind of attitude that you want in a superstar. He wants to play all the time. He ain't scared of competition. And him being the marquee, he's the kind of talent that would embrace and accept and gravitate towards being the marquee. See, we've got star, like for example, you got a superstar like Kawhi Leonard, right? Kawhi Leonard don't want no yep. part. Kawhi Leonard don't want no part about being a superstar. Kawhi Leonard want to play ball, he want to get your money, and he want to go home. Anthony Edwards is the one that cares about seeing his name up like marquee. He wants the big stage. He wants people walking through the turnstiles just to watch him. He got that kind of attitude. That's what I love about Anthony Edwards. And that's because you can trust that he's going to exhaust every means and measure to be the superstar that he has the potential to be. You can trust him. That's why I like him. Absolutely. All right? Perfect. Take Appreciate the, you and I watch your show every day and keep it, doing the great work. Keep doing, keep coming with it. Thank you, Sam. I mean, you know, Zach, yep. take care, man. Sam in Fort Worth, Texas. You're live with Stephen A. Talk to me, Sam. Sam, are you hey, there? Hey, Stephen A., how are you? What's up, man? How are you, man? Happy holidays. 
I'm great. Thank you. Happy holidays to you as yes, well. Sir. Big What's fan up? of your work. Thank you, man. Go ahead. What's up? So uh, I was uh, scrolling through Twitter the other day, and I saw that you believe Florida State was snubbed out of the playoffs because of uh, – TCU's loss to Georgia in the national championship. No, I, said, I said it played a role. It wasn't, it wasn't the reason. I said it was one of the reasons. In other words, while they point and blame at the college football playoff committee and all of this other stuff, I'm saying blame TCU last year too. Throw them into the equation. When you get stomped 65-7 to in the national championship game, you know, any kind of potential hiccup is something that the committee is going to be averse to. That was my point. Okay, well, in order to reach the national championship, TCU had to be Michigan, a really good Michigan team, yes. right? Well, a lot of people had so questions about it, Michigan, how, by I was the wondering way, how this would make Florida State less compelling if they could be capable of have done, done because, have because, because achieving the same thing as TCU. Well, listen, my answer to you, B, is simple. They don't have Jordan Travis. And without Jordan Travis, you don't have the appeal that you once had and the allure that you once had. You may still go out there and win games. You were undefeated after all. You did beat Florida and, and, and obviously Louisville after all, and you're to be commended for all of that. But make no mistake about it, they take into account the allure, the appeal. That's why one of the stipulations when they're judging you, as Kirk Herbstreit, my colleague at ESPN, pointed out all day yesterday on social media, one of the criteria is player or coach's availability and the kind of impact the committee thinks that could potentially have. And so if you remember in 2014, when JT Barrett goes down for Ohio State, Cardell Jones goes up in there, plays lights out. They beat Wisconsin 59 to nothing, go into the playoffs and then ultimately win the national championship. If in Florida State's case, once Jordan Travis goes down, they struggle to score offensively against Florida and Louisville. Their defense was the story and no doubt they still ended up undefeated. But the appeal that they had compared to an Alabama and a Texas in their eyes, was, 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 was leaving something to be desired. And that's what they think it was, and I understand it. Fair enough, Stephen A. Well, I appreciate your answer and your time. Uh, happy holidays. Happy to holidays, family. man. Take care. You and yours as well, Sam. Thank you so much. Patrick, you're the last caller, live from Atlanta, Georgia. What's up, Patrick? How are you? Hey, Stephen A. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm doing all right, man. Thank you for calling. Happy holidays. What's up? Thank you to you as well. Um, I have a bit of a two-part question okay. for you. My first uh, first part of the question is, how have you enjoyed the NBA in-season tournament so far this year? And the second well, part well, of hold my on, question... Hold on, hold on, hold on oh. for your second question. Let's stay with the first question first. Patrick, i got to admit to you, I've enjoyed it much more than I thought. Um, I don't think it should have been necessary. I think cats getting paid the money that they get paid... I think it's inexcusable to work harder in summer league than you do for All-Star Weekend in some games during the regular season, to be quite honest with you, although I know they're pacing themselves. The flip side to it, however, is that that in-season tournament, that pot of money that's available to the winner, um, that was obviously a, a, a nugget of incentive. But when I see the Lakers be 4-0 in in-season tournament games, when I see Sacramento and Golden State go at it the other night when, when um, De'Aaron Fox uh, comes back and, and, and he drops 40, and on top of it all, damn near 40, and on top of it all, they win by one point with Malik Monk throwing in that prayer uh, after driving into the lane and, 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 you know, shooting that off, you know, off balance uh, bank mm -hmm. shot. I'm looking at the level of tenacity that they played with, how Golden State was really trying to win that game, how Sacramento was really trying to win that game. Now, personally, I would take out the point differential. They shouldn't have had to win by 12 or more points to be eligible for the tournament if you were Golden State, you know, stuff like that. But in terms of the fervor and the desire to go out there and really, really show how much you can, how much you want this, I was really proud of the level of competition that I saw for the in-season tournament, and I got to give the players and the league credit for instituting it. Well, you kind of touched on the second part of my question, which was gonna, which I was gonna ask: What changes would you like to see implemented as the in-season tournament isn't doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon? So, what changes would you like get rid to of see the point differential? Season? Get 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 rid of having to win by a certain amount of points and stuff like that. Because what you don't want is you don't want a situation where, okay, like for example, let's take that Golden State Sacramento uh, game for example. Golden State had to win by twelve or more points, right? Now, mm -hmm. Sacramento was down like six or whatever in the last minute or so and came back and won the game. But even if they had lost – 
but lost by two points, they still go into the tournament. See, it shouldn't have been, oh my goodness, go to state. Well, you got to win by at least 12. No, you win or you lose. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's one or the yes, other. Sir. It shouldn't have been about the points. So they got to get rid of that, I believe. But outside of that, nah. And um, the other thing is, me personally, I would have liked to have seen it in February. Damn near, I would have liked it to, pre to replace the All-Star game because they don't give any effort anyway. But yeah. I do understand now why they wanted it early because they didn't want to just concede the first two months of the season to the National Football League. They wanted to make sure to remind the world, look, we matter too. We exist too. Here we are, mm -hmm. the National Basketball Association. We're incredibly popular. One would argue that we're, 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 we're more popular than even the NFL in the digital world, all right, as opposed to the linear world. You can make those arguments, and because you could do that, I think that's something to take into consideration. All righty, sir. Well, I really appreciate you taking my call today and right. hope you have a happy holiday. Happy holiday to you, and your, to you and yours. All the best to you, my man. Enjoy the new year. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Take care. Call back anytime.